Today was an opportunity for both disabled school kids and their parents to learn about the transition from school into adulthood and the workplace. Simon McCosh from Community Care Trust was one of the organisers of the event. It's important for families and whānau to get all the information they need. Um, often they've been in the education bubble um, with their children for a long time and they're venturing into the world of disability support services which can be quite terrifying and yeah it's an ever-changing landscape so we're trying to create a one-stop shop so they can ask all the questions they can and meet and greet as many providers as they can. Debbie Webster said the range of disability services on offer is wide and varied. If people are empowered when they have information they can make choices so it's about letting people know what's out there and often a lot of social services are quite siloed because of their funding you know whether it's you know working income or whether it's it's health or whether it's education so for people to sort of have all these agencies here at one time that they can literally go and you know helps them join the dots. McCosh says it's important to start informing parents and pupils well before they leave school. We don't want to just catch the kids that are in their last year of school or even year 12 um, the earlier you start planning for after school the better, so even year 9, 10 um, students starting to have those discussions then. Um, yeah. It's hard enough for anyone these days to get a job and Debbie Webster agrees that barriers to employment certainly exist. It's, you know, it's a hard one, I mean there's no point messing around with that, there isn't a lot of you know, em employment opportunities but it's, uh, partly it's a mindset, it's about whether people are willing to let people have an opportunity um, to get past those social barriers of disability, you know, and actually put the person first. The Community Care Trust organises this open day every year and encourages both pupils and parents to attend. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.